Let's look at our beautiful blue planet somewhere in the universe. And another celestial object, like the sun or the star. Of its many beams, one is particularly interesting, the one that, on its way to the center of the Earth, cuts through the surface of the Earth in a right angle. That point is called a picture point of the celestial object on our surface of the Earth. And then we have an assumed position, somewhere where we think we are. We'll pick one in vicinity where two pieces of information can be found in the site reduction tables. One of these is the direction to the picture point, which is called the azimuth. The second piece of information from the sight reduction tables is the angle that we should measure the star if we had been in the assumed position. This is HC for calculated altitude. Since the picture point of the star is moving very quickly on the surface of the Earth because the Earth turns so quickly, it's crucial to have an exact time on board. Now, most probably we will not measure exactly HC. We will measure something slightly bigger or an angle that is slightly smaller. If it's bigger, we are closer to the picture point, but let's assume we measure an angle which is slightly smaller. So we are further away from the picture point. This observed altitude, HO, is then just compared with the HC. And the difference between the two are expressed in minutes of a degree. And these minutes of a degree exactly correspond to the nautical miles, the intercept. On a chart, we don't need to draw the picture point of the sun, which is so far away. We can use a large-scale chart and only mark the assumed position and the intercept. And then we have to draw another line, perpendicular to the azimuth. This is our position line. So somewhere along the position line we are. Now, only shooting at daytime, and this moon maybe is not visible, that's not so easy, so we'll shoot the sun twice instead. So we shoot it in the morning, we get a position line. We shoot it a couple of hours later, we get a second position line. And where they intersect, where they cross, that's where we are. And if we have moved in between, we just have to transfer the first position line accordingly. It's not much more complicated. That is celestial navigation in a nutshell.